every time you look at this tool. Oh, a bit of real mancing there. He's definitely scored a 180 there, but James Wade literally looking like he can't miss at this yeah. moment. It's actually, um, he's making it look quite pedestrian, but again, first, first, Leg open with 11 is potentially going to repeat that. With 140. Yeah. James well. require 100. James Wade. Back to back 11 darters. Yeah. Oh my word. And they are all bang in the middle of every single target he's going for. But there's nothing he can do to stop Brett Clayton winning this leg if he can take out the 170s. 140. Brett you can apply a bit of pressure. But that's all he can do. Yeah. Questions is asked and Brett Clayton has to pull out the big, big fish. Wow, that could have changed things. That's a long way off. One dart at tops though. Game and James shot. Wade closes and it out by James six Wade. legs to three. To choose from. And I've been scouring my brain. 57. Yesterday I said he looked like Patrick Swayze from Dirty Dancing. Mm -hmm. But I think he looks a bit more like Patrick Swayze from Roadhouse. <laughs> okay. 44. <laughs> and he required 127. But he doesn't look 19 to me. He looks a lot more mature than that. He plays more mature than it as well. Double eight. Oh, yeah. boy, what a first leg. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. From Roadhouse. It was a bit curious. He was on the walk. The follow through wasn't fully extended. Oh, I'm it's just a bit wrong. He needs to get back to basics. It doesn't take you very long to throw three darts if you Luke Humphreys. So just oh, stay there until you've thrown 70. all three, not two and a half. It's one of my biggest pug bets. And 56. Luke understands that he does walk on dart three, and it's a real, it's a real problem for him. Right, Mike, a lot of the quick players, Michael Smith's guilty of it. All of them. Particularly in a game this 14. quick, where you're, just, you're running around the stage, your turn, your turn, your turn. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. He's yeah. just yeah. hitting everything he's, he's going for all of a sudden to win this game. He's hitting more, and things are coming. Ooh, oh, really seven. I think you're going to get a few of those with his darts going in at all these weird angles. But he knows he's got grooves on his points as well. He doesn't want to have what happened to Danny Noppet. With darts falling on the floor by using this strange angle of entry. But again, I think that's a dodgy deflection that's cost him there. Very much so. His ideal first dart in the 60s is actually to the left of it, not to the right. Mm. But he is going to get matched darts. And Luke Humphreys, the winner in Munich, might be dumped out here by six legs to two. It is Cedargeddon here. Another people by what they do on debut or in the early parts of their career. Let's see what they turn into. And I'm talking about some of the people we've seen for the first time this week. Let's judge them on what they do in maybe six or seven years. So 100. The development stage of, of darting capabilities, especially on the stage itself, it needs that experience and. Don't might be yeah with a big he's on the first line big big he's on a bogey number and now Dirk's got six from one seven six. And it's all about how Dirk responds. It's he's on a finish, like you said earlier. He's on a finish, but Robbie now just needs to find it. It can't be a tribulus visit. That's the worst thing that could possibly happen. Sixty. There was an argument there for the twenty-five at the Logan end of that to leave ninety-eight. He'd rather have ninety-eight than hundred and three. At least 98 to two darter. 120 to win this match in the bear pit. Just short on the 60 effort. 56. And whether you Ruby like that shot or not go for the 16s, it doesn't matter if Ruby takes the 103, which he's not. So now, because he went for the 16s and got the single, He's only got a guaranteed one dart to double, and he needs a treble to get two. But he does get two. And double four, the next door neighbor of double eight. From Winmau um, at the time, and, and, and it looked like he was just kind of losing his, his touch. And 
Some people kind of wrote him off, and I don't know if you were one of them. Yeah, you were him off, but I still don't think he's back to where he was, and I'm not sure if he's ever going to get back to where he was. I don't know. He may do. It's like I've, I've said a number of times. If this was a brand new player doing what, done, doing what he's doing, you'd be like, this guy's going to win loads. But you're judging by different standards. And how about this? Double 14 is pinned and it is 3 0. The semi finals and a game that was littered with loads of missed doubles, but getting to the semi finals just shows you the quality of the, of the player. 90. Cameron Menzies is. And one of Scotland's. Uh, Scotland has a great pedigree of players coming through. Oh, and it always has. Cameron is just one of those. Oh, hello. Hello. Matt Cameron Menzies with it, 176. Now then. So you could argue he's still the best in the world. I think he'd struggle to it at the minute. He doesn't hold a major title. But he is still an unbelievable player. And beating him is incredibly tough. And he can't take the 1 2 8 if Cammy does. 88, Cameron, you're this game really 128. is a lot. 28. Wants the ball for the 1 2 8. Oh, 103. Michael, you require 40. Michael now has three clear after. 12 thrown, but generally this is where he's quite vulnerable. Is where he 20. misses the three darts clear, and like he was Kevin saying, you he 25. Loses games. This is the big number, Cameron Menzies. 17. Oh, that is a big mistake. Michael, you require Michael will be 20. licking his lips now. Double 10 is just begging to Kevin be hit. 28, you know. Michael Van Turn up, somebody else took it. Somebody's taking money out of his pocket. 96. Herman, you require 80. His throw is slightly a bit changed now, and he doesn't have that big break in, in his wrist. So, coming out top. 40. So Michael, Michael Van Gogh has to take out a 10 plus finish to close out the game. And he won't be doing that, and he'll be giving Cameron an opportunity, but. 86. Cameron, you require 40. Locker. Big dart, Cami. Doesn't find it, and another mistake, and Michael gives MBG an opportunity. 57. An opportunity on tops for the win. And mighty oh, Michael Van Goen does and complete Max the win. Michael Van Goen. It may not. I'm going to throw some darts, Jeffrey. Yeah. Sometimes you need somebody like that just to keep you in lane. I always remember. Staying with Jamie Cave and his wife Debbie oh, saying, no, Right, up you get. Pat this board's up there. <laughs> and Jamie did what he's told. You do need a muse. You do need oh, someone to sort of push you in the right direction. But Johnny doesn't seem to need anything but himself and those three lovely darts that he throws and doesn't tinkle oh, with. Well, there we go. Just uh Notch off one. Johnny Clayton has left 121 after nine darts. That's leg one. Hasn't oh, taken it out, but he's set it up nicely 24. to get this first leg on the board. No yeah, that was not a marker for him. You see from that camera angle that if he just glances off any portion of the barrel of the flight, it's just going to go upwards. Instead of down, it's not how his darts fly. It's definitely stronger, stacking over the top. That's far enough away, <laughs> but he's gone the wrong side. Twelve. He's had real problems up there. Yeah, if you It'd be somewhat ironic if Desvan does get a shot at double twelve and hits it on this one three eight. We should call him the party pooper, shouldn't we? Considering he denied us 12. a rematch of the 2018 semi-final. Double six, oh, it's the no wrong score. one. Jeff, you require 80. Oh, Johnny Clayton. Double trouble in the opening leg. Double ten. Double five. And yeah, Jeff Riddersman well picks his pocket. Jeff Riddersman. Well. Yeah, men's endo here. This is where you get the big drums involved at the back of the orchestra. I did not expect the phrase subtle oh, or no. to be mentioned in commentary oh, come tonight. On, we're Austria. Yeah, it's I the home of classical music. Hey, look, I, won't, I wouldn't put it past. We're going to turn up at a Euro Tour event at some point over the next three years, and there'll be some bloke who comes yeah, on with a, with a dark show with a subtle over <laughs> written across the back.
Clayton with a 187 and, the, and the double 18. And this game the has Vegas actually Jeffrey turned in game on. to some pretty high quality stuff. 140 to leave 1 2 1 after 9 for the third time in this match. Not going to do it. Oh. But he does manage to get to a finish. You still put Jeffrey as the favourite, but one little slip and he's got a problem. Oh, yeah, good dance. Johnny oh, are we going all the way to a last leg decider? It's down to Jeffrey. Oh, decided not to go for the 25. It paid off. Does Vaughan knows a thing or two about tight spots here in Graz? It doesn't Vaughan. find the red spot. Johnny requires 61. So to win it, the 11th seed has got 61. And that makes 49. If he gets those, he'll be playing Danny Nopper tomorrow. 45. Match dart miss. Jeffrey Desvon has already survived two match darts in this tournament from Mentor Sulevic yesterday. 17. But he's going to have to survive another Johnny three Rikoya, minimum 16. to get through to tomorrow. Clayton, double eight. Double four. Game and shot. double four Game is there. Johnny Clayton, Johnny the winner here four years. Sighting is, is is the term used, but I think that if you if you see his pullback, he slightly moves his cheek out the way because the dart has to kind of go past his eyeline, and that's where you get the rotating motion. But as we see, yeah, it's just oh, yeah. beautiful setup. Two so dots sitting up nicely like a barrier wall, and all you just need to do is just throw it into that wall, and the solid nature of the flight itself will help the dart no, stay in that cool. area, so it won't kind of go through because it's so solid. Now, Peter, 77 for a break of throw. 18 leaves tops for a 15 dart break. Oh, yeah, and exciting. Yeah, that was really good. good. Oh, one thing I have to talk about at this stage of this match is the, the leg breakdown because everything looks really, really good. 15, 14. 13, 12, 15, 14. So everything has been won in five minutes or better in this match. And I don't see that changing in leg number seven as Callum goes for a 130 out, possibly on the ball, but it's double five. No, it's too much air on that one. Slightly but smashing, just quick. And I think with quick players or players that throw it at that pace, not sighting it doesn't give you enough time to kind of find it. I mean, they find it sometimes, but not just a little bit of patience. And Peter right here needs the bullseye to break the calendar Three, and throw and just gives him another opportunity. And you require 10. After 12 darts, both players having an opportunity. And you know that, like you said, scoring master class. takes the lead. In this match, he's fortunate that Rids is on 196. Not able to sneak this one for a 5 3 lead. 20. Peter won his first world title on this double. He's not going to win this leg on double 10. Oh, but things could get really 16. tricky now. Rich will be thinking. 96. Didn't expect this chance. Happy birthday is what they call it, and it's a pop pop finish yeah, from Callum Ritz. Too Callum quick, Ritz. blink, and you miss it. This is what happens to a lot of players at the time. There's been one 170 today, and it was hit on the women's series by Courtney Hine, Steve Hine's daughter. One of the best, most entertaining reads oh, on Dark Connect I've ever had. Calendary if you haven't seen anything about it, please check it out on Dark Connect. It was quite something. 170 to win her match earlier. This is to win this match. It's double 11. And oh, it's not there. Oh, one match dot missed 71. by Rids. Can Peter Wright get rid of 71 to keep us interested? That's actually a decent miss. Because it leaves him one shot at the outer ring instead of the ball. 51. I fear for his chances now. To beat Peter Wright for the second time on a Saturday 22. night on the Euro Tour in a second different country. He yes, has put him out and the world Calendary. champion is not going to get a green jacket this weekend. 
I'm a European champion. I know if I go and play my best stuff, then I can beat anybody. I don't have to worry about who I'm facing. I'll tell you what, if he's good on the 18s already, oh, that's a bad sign 62. for Josh Rock. Because he does a lot of good work on the treble 18, Rob Cross. No doubt. And and the thing is, is when, you, when you're needing the treble 18, 60. it's simply because Rob of a board management that's kind of slipped. And Josh himself was on 3-4-3, which was another board management slip. But like you say, is this the shot that won him the world title it's the exact same shot against phil taylor oh. 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 Signature oh. Move. for non-selection simply because you're now thinking yeah i don't need it well he believes that this is the way to get the best out of himself and that he'd be happier he spends more time with the family and he can he can make huge amounts of money playing the ranking stuff not do the Premier League not do the World Series even if he's asked and he feels that playing oh, in the Premier League even when he nearly topped the Premier League nearly won it Robbie he felt it was he was not getting the best out of himself now it's interesting to see if that comes to pass double three for a 5-1 lead it's a dangerous Six. start that second Josh dart Rick inside it's 120. Josh Rockier needs just needs some something in this game and he's not gonna get it but does 45 Rob Cross go two double two or or does he attack six. it straight on it's a straight on attack and now in the madhouse needs to jolt slightly left look at the left corner it and he gets it. it's Rob Cross. All, the, all the work is being done from the elbow and the arm it's that's all that matters you know, Rob Cross has got the leg kicking out and everything, but still a lovely extension of the arm. Yeah, but the shoulder comes into play. When you see Josh Rock from the side, you'll see that is the true poetry in motion. And he'll have one dart at the top, so the nice little step back. He knows how important this is, and he does not get it. And Rob Cross now on 57 for the match. Well, we may not get to see Josh Rock from the side again, but you will see plenty more of him. Will you see any more of him in this game and in this tournament? Rob Cross pins tops, and you won't. Double ten. A tough game assignment shot. for Rob Cross, made and to look very, shot. very easy, but oh. only by... They tend to go away and stick the darts down for three or four weeks. And there's a lot can happen in three or four weeks. You might start throwing the darts differently when you come back. And you might not be able to get back into the same sort of rhythm. So it's really important to keep that momentum going. Another one of those. They're the kind of darts that have crept into his game lately. Steven, you require 120. Well, he's it up quite nicely, but Shanghai, very makeable for the bullet. And it is made. First Tuck Plus check out of the weekend for Stephen Bunting. At the what point to throw are we going to get? Bad Game habits can creep in. And we've seen it. Very, very obvious ones. Even the best players in the game. James Wade, for, it, uh, for example, has had that. You know, he was, he was hopping up on his foot. That's a very, Steve very Young. obvious one. Mm. But there are little tiny things that can change. Just the release point. Just tiny little things. And in a, a game of, of tiny motor skills they can make a big difference and they make a big difference over the course of a year and at the minute look we do, we're not really sure what's going on with Ross at the minute but we know he's not playing like he can yeah, that's much play better play women's series this weekend hmm. Roman Benecki Roman he, yeah. he could play in in Czech Republic Ooh, now that might be a nail in the coffin of Smudger. Easy fire. Oh. Steven, you're the puzzle continues for Ross Smith. He's still searching for something that can click his season into gear because it hasn't happened yet. And Stephen Bunting has ended his hopes here at the Austrian Darts Open.